So what would this mean for the company? Trustways started about 10 years ago mm -hmm. and um, the problem that we're solving is moving money across borders. We figured out that banks will tell you it costs about 35 bucks to make an international wire. What they don't tell you is that there's about a 3-5% markup in the exchange rate. Um, so what we've achieved so far is brought TransferWise to about 71 countries around the world um, and we're moving now about four billion dollars every month. So this is roughly the, the thing we've, we've been able to build with, uh, um, with uh, kind of the funding and um, uh, the support from our users from about 10 years ago. So there's a busy IPO pipeline. Could TransferWise be in that pipeline? Uh, not necessarily, no. Mm -hmm. we, don't, uh, we don't see a huge benefit in being a public company. Um, we see that uh, there's a very good funding market for private companies today. So why, why not? Why, why is there no benefit to being a public company? Um, I think companies can, can still move uh, quite a bit faster when they remain private. I think that's very important for, for tech companies. So are you saying never? No, I'm not saying never. I'm saying not now. There's been a rise of these so-called challenger banks, which has gotten a lot of attention lately. What does that mean for your business? The challenger banking or, or the change that's happening to traditional banks is super interesting. And we see that a lot in Europe, um, which has given us good challengers in Germany, in Britain, in France now. So this is, uh, this is a kind of a testament that a better service, whether that's cheaper, faster, more convenient, can actually be quite competitive uh, to the traditional banks. Would you ever buy one of these fintech companies or merge with them? I, I don't see that we need, to, uh, we need to do that. In fact, we see that a lot of those challenger banks and traditional banks offer transferwise to their users. So we see them rather as partners hmm. um, who, are, who are making it better uh, to offer the transferwise services to the public. Would you ever apply for a banking license? We haven't really seen the need, to, need mm. for that because, uh, again, the regulators have been pretty smart and, and realized that you need a banking license if you're making loans and if you're taking deposits um, and then giving it out in loans without, uh, uh, without keeping uh, it fully collateralized. So you have lost a few fairly senior employees, the head of Asian expansion, the head of banking. Why is that happening and how have you filled those roles? So TransferWise today, uh, just to put things in context, we're 1,400 people uh, in about 11 offices around the world. So people come and go, right? People <laughs> mostly come and we need a lot more. So we're, uh, I think we have about 130 open roles all over the world, including New York. But for those who might be concerned about the turnover at the top, what do you want to say to them? We, um, we see people who, who come to TransferWise, they actually stay for a, for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. And the reason being is they're really motivated by what we do. It's very clear how um, we're helping people save money. So we actually calculate every day, every month, how many millions of dollars we've saved our users in banking fees. And that's super uh, inspiring.